Hello viewers, this is Walgada Ronald taking you through today's tutorial for A-level physics. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about the solutions for ENAB Physics Paper 1 for the year 2019 and particularly question 10. So where necessary, the following constants can be used. Now these are the very questions I left in the previous video and I believe by now you're ready to try them out and ready to check your, mark yourself and check your progress. But before we begin you must have realized that the question part E Roman 1 could not be done because the uh, unified masses for these elements were not given. Therefore what we did we cancelled it out and the marks were redistributed so these five marks were redistributed whereby two marks were added on part B to make four and three marks were added on part C to make eight so that's, will be, that's how the marks will be awarded as we go through this solution so let's start with question 10 part A Part A says, what is meant by the following as applied to radioactivity? Roman 1, activity, and Roman 2, half-life of a radioactive material. So for Roman 1, we shall say that activity is the number of disintegrations of a radioactive source per second. Alternatively, you can say that activity is the number of atoms disintegrating per second. So the same, but just the language change. From and two, we can say that half-life is the time taken for half the original mass of, a radio of radioactive atoms to disintegrate. Or you can also say that half-life is the time taken for the number of active nuclei present in a source at a given time to fall to half its value. So it's the same only that the English changes. Basically that's what they wanted and now let's see how much could be awarded. So correct definition that would be one mark for Roman 1 and also some applies to Roman 2 that is one mark. Question 10 says that, part B says, using the radioactive decay law, n equal to n naught e raised the power negative ram, lambda, which is the decay constant times time, show that the half-life t a half is given by t a half being equal to 0 0.693 over lambda, where lambda is the decay constant. So first of all, we shall start with what is given. And then we shall say that when t is equal to t a half, remember t a half is the half-life, it means that the original mass, the n will now be equal to half the original mass. Now this is the n naught, it was the original mass, original number of active nuclei. Which is, so therefore n will be equal to half n naught. When I substitute in this, I'll come up with this. So where there is n, I've put there a half n naught to come up with this. And where there is t, I've put there t, I have to come up with that. And when I simplify, this n naught and this n naught will cancel to come up with a half being equal to e raised to the power negative lambda t a half. Now from there, when I rearrange, this negative can become positive by making this the reciprocal. So when I do that, I'll come up with 2 be equal to e raised the power lambda t a half. Now when I put lin on both sides, I'll come up with this side, it will be lin 2, and this side lin e will cancel, cause lin e is, is equal to, it will cancel to 1, to, so that I remain with lambda t a half. And when I make t a half the subject, I'll come up with lin 2 over 
Ramdan. When I use a calculator, lean 2 will be equal to 0 0.693 and basically that's what they wanted. So let's see how much can be awarded. So half a mark for substitution, half a mark for simplifying, half a mark for putting natural log on both sides and sorry half full full mark because they are four marks. So full mark for the correct expression which which they wanted. So basically that's how the four marks could be got. So now we shall go to question 10 part part C. Part C say that with the aid of a labor diagram describe the action of an ionization chamber. So first of all you have to draw the setup of an ionization chamber as this in this way. So well labeled well well labeled and the diagram should be well large enough. So they have told us that with the aid of a diagram, meaning that the diagram has to be drawn and this will be the diagram of the ionization chamber. So you have said that when radiation enters the ionization the chamber through the thin wire gauze, it ionizes the gas molecules. So remember this is the ionizing radiation and this space here is filled with gas at low pressure. Now when this ionizing radiation enters through this thin wire gauze, it will ionize the gas molecules splitting it into and with that it will form positive and negative ions. So just that the electrons which are the negative ions are moved towards the anode. Remember anode is, a pos is positive and positive ions move towards the cathode. Remember cathode is negatively charged. So, the, the, so it, that means that the electrons which are negatively charged will move towards the anode which is positively charged while the positive ions will move towards the cathode which is negatively charged. A discharge occurs between the anode and the cathode and so current flows in the external circuit. That means so current will be able to flow in the external circuit. The current is detected by an electrometer or a sensitive current detector. So this is the electrometer which detects the current, the flow of current. So the magnitude of the current registered gives the measure of the intensity of radiation. So basically that's how an ionization, ionization chamber of works. Now let's see how mass can be awarded. So full mark for that, room paragraph, second paragraph. So electrons moving towards the anode, half a mark. Electrons moving, sorry, positive ions moving towards the cathode. That is also half a mark to make one mark for this paragraph. Then discharge occurring, one mark. Current flowing, one mark. Current being detected by the electrometer, one mark. And then the radiation, in terms of radiation, that is one mark. So basically that's how you could get the six marks. But remember... In the question it was 8, meaning 2 are remaining and those will go on the diagram. So any 4 well labeled, you get yourself the 2 marks. So now we shall go to question 10, part D. Part D says that what is meant by unified atomic mass unit and electron volt? So just so that unified atomic mass, mass unit is a twelfth the mass of one atom of carbon twelve. 
So basically, that's the definition of unified atomic mass unit. Then for ele electron volt, we shall say an electron volt is the kinetic energy gained by an electron which has been accelerated through a potential difference of one volt. So basically, that's the difference and the max will be one mark for the unified atomic mass unit and also one mark for electron volt. So basically that's what they wanted in part D. So now shall go to part E. Part E says explain two uses of radioactive isotopes. Remember they have told us to explain. So one we shall say that radioisotopes are used as tracers in industries. The next explanation is that for investigation of flow of a liquid in an underground pipe or of sewage or water, a little radioactive solution is added to the liquid being pumped. A temporarily high activity around the leak will be detected from the ground above. Then two we shall say that radioisotopes are also used in the treatment of cancer. And the explanation is that minute radioactive isotopes are attached to the antibodies before they are given to the patient and the radioactivity reveals the cancer cells. Further, further tiny doses of radioactivity fixed to the antibodies can then destroy the harmful cancer cells with minimum damage to the surrounding healthy cells. So basically those are the two explanations which they wanted. Alternatively you can explain any of the following. One is sterilization, diagnostic uses, gauge control and fault finding and also archaeology which is carbon dating, carbon 14 dating. So let's see how marks can be awarded. So full mark for this for stating and one mark for explanation. Same applies to the second explanation. One mark for stating and another one mark for explanation. So I believe you have marked yourself and checked your progress. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you with another essay question. By this time, it will be a question of paper 2. So that brings us to the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching and be reminded that the solutions for the assignment left will be available in the next video. So if you have not yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button below this video so that you can always receive updates when the when this video with the solution has been uploaded. Otherwise, thank you for watching and if you know any student who is not yet on this platform, please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like whatsapp and facebook so that we all benefit as a family